everybody, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Platinum Poke Radar Fate Lock. In the last episode, we made our way here to Jubilife, even catching a couple more Pokemon, being Magikarp and Krikatot, Dan and Dorothy, as you can see on the layout. And in my party, if I go to it, there they are. I haven't trained. I'm still not going to train. Training Dan and Dorothy seems pointless because they, they won't be usable at all for the gym. Dorothy would be weak to it. And I want to wait until Dorothy's level 16 for Bug Bite before I evolve her. And the level limit's not 16, it's 14. So these two just aren't going to be useful at all. And I know if I roll them, I'm in trouble. But they're still not going to be useful even if I train them. But if I did train them, they'd be a little more tanky, I guess. But I think Goofy and Woodstock on their own are fine until we get a couple more Pokemon. That's the hope anyways. Because once I get the rest of my encounters, I've got four encounters before we get to... Um before we get to fight Rourke, and if we catch all four of them, we can put these two in the BC. So that's the hope, as of right now, and Goofy and Woodstock should be able to fight on their own for now. So, today's plan is we're gonna go ahead and make it to Orberg. I'd like to get to those four Pokemon, but we do want to go ahead and explore uh, Jubilife a little bit before we leave. I do want to give Woodstock the Quick Claw. I know Goofy's slower, but that's okay. He, Goofy has his mail, you know, he needs to deliver his mail to his grandpa. You know, it says, hi, grandpa. So, yeah. Um, I just want to make sure, can I buy any more Pokeballs? I've got 940 Poke Dollars. That's actually pretty good. Do I have anything I can sell? Because we need as many Pokeballs as we can get. I can't think of anything that can paralyze me from here. So, I'm going to sell it. That's $100. That's, like, huge. Returns, do important. Yeah, we're going to go at... I don't need an X attack. I'm not doing none of that. Yeah. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and buy some Pokeballs now. As many as I can, because we need as need a lot of them. Because two of the four encounters that we can get have the same catch rate as Wobbuffet. So, yeah. We're in trouble, basically. And I don't even have enough healing items. Like, I don't have three. So, we're in not the best of shape. Anyways, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead into this building really quick. See if there's any items you can get. And I said I'd do this off-screen last episode, but... It shouldn't take too long to go ahead and check it out. I know there's some... Yeah, this girl literally says talk to everybody. Which, you know, I do, but sometimes it gets a little boring on camera. I know in uh, Orberg City, I can get a Dusk Ball and a Great Ball from somebody, which, you know, that's going to be really helpful for these Pokemon coming up. Because one of them is found in a cave, which would be perfect to go ahead and fight with um, a Dusk Ball in the bag. Especially if I get it down to, like, 1 HP, and then I can throw the Dusk Ball, and we guarantee it. That's the hope. You know, it could always break out as well, which is scary. And the other one is found outside, so, I mean, a dust ball could work as well if it's nighttime, which is, you know, according to the game clock, three hours and ten minutes away, so that's not going to happen. Anyways, I know uh, there's two trainers in the Pokemon school. I don't want to fight them just yet. I want to wait until Woodstock has wing attack, at least, because then Woodstock can fight on his own. Uh, I can't do the lottery yet, can I? No, I can't, because the clown's in the way until after we beat the gym, so there's no Pokeball we're getting from... Uh, the lottery. If we did get the Master Ball from the lottery, I would have used it on Wobbuffet. So, that's a thing. I am not gonna go ahead and be stingy on a Master Ball. Especially when, you know, it's the only Pokeball we have left and we need an encounter. I have no idea why I talked to the Fisherman. Oh, there's a there's something over here. I, I remember, on Route 218. I want to go ahead and save my encounter over here until I get the Good Rod. For real, even though I actually already have it. You know what I mean? Because I can get Finian over here, and by having Finian and Magikarp, it guarantees me to get a Quillfish later on in the game, which is a super cool little encounter. You can only get with the Super Rod, but since we're playing with those extra rules, I can get a Quillfish in an Iron Island, which is very, very cool. Is there any items I'm missing? I'm pretty certain I'm not. And then I want to go ahead and head north and go ahead and fight the trainers that we didn't fight up there, where we caught our Krikatot Dorothy last episode. I'm pretty sure there's no items. Wait, did they just say poke poke catch Detective? I wonder if this had anything to do with Detective Pikachu. Like, I wonder if that had anything to do with, like, the thought process behind that. I doubt it. But yeah, we can get a new Poketch app from that guy when we get a new gym badge. I'm not going to explore this place. I don't really care. I'm pretty certain there's no items. And the only items I'm really after right now are Pokeballs. Because we need them, obviously. So yeah, let's just go ahead and head north. We already got ourselves an encounter. We got some trainer battles to fight. Things to do, places to see. Um, I'm fine fighting with Woodstock. Woodstock's up front, so let's do it. Oh, a weak-looking trainer. Do you want to have a go? I do, but I need to go ahead and roll the dice. I got to put it in the cup. 
and shake it up for last Sarah here because we're fighting her shinks with a five, which means I get to pick. I'm obviously gonna pick Goofy in this situation and because slot five is empty and obviously once the party gets filled, that'll no longer be a problem. I know it doesn't have any um, electric type attacks at this point in the game, so I'm just gonna stay in. It doesn't get spark until like level 18 or something, so we good. I want Woodstock to get as much XP as possible because as soon as he, she hits level nine, We'll be able to go ahead and why did I give him give her the quick claw? She has quick attack. What am I thinking? <laughs> That's not redundant whatsoever. I completely agree. Yeah, I want as much XP as possible, but I, oh, they're both weak to electric. How grand? I didn't even think about that. Well, they're not paired. It's, you know, it's not like a wedlock and they're stuck together. They can fight with whoever. But in this situation, they're best to fight together. So we're gonna go ahead and take down the Shinx. No problems at all. And hopefully, once we get level 9 on Woodstock, like I was saying, we'll be able to have Wing Attack, and then she'll be able to fight on her own fairly well. And we're only one level away from that now, so we should be able to get that on this route. And Goofy almost hit level 10. Alright, hopefully we can get some catches on this episode, that way we can start using other Pokemon. We get a Psyduck up ahead, which is pretty cool. This guy is a Magikarp, so I'm not going to heal. I can beat him without healing at all. He says he'll beat me with the Magikarp his dad gave him. Well, I'm gonna beat him with the Starly I caught without any items, Tyler. Yeah, that's gonna happen. It's a Magikarp guy without actually being the Magikarp guy. Fisherman Andrew, he's he's in the game. He's down the line. He's like, or down the track as you Aussies say. Aussies? It's Aussies, you know. I, I, is that like an Australian slang term? I'm pretty sure. Because when I was watching um, Survivor Australia, everybody would say, oh, down the track, eh? Well, not, no, that's, that's Canada. Hold up, hold up. It's further down the track, eh? I, I can't do the Aussie accent. But you get the gist. They said down the track instead of down the line. And I was like, that's a really stupid saying. Please tell me that they don't say that all the time. But three seasons on, they continued to happen. So I was hoping it was just a one person's thing. Nope, it's a... It's a universal thing, apparently. Unless it's just like a certain section of Australia. Somebody will let me know, but... It's, it's, it's definitely interesting to hear slang terms from other cultures. Other cultures? I don't know what you would call that. Give me a sec. I'm gonna heal. Other regions is what I should have said, I guess. Yeah, it's they're really far away. They're 13 hours ahead of me. At least some sections of it is. I have no idea. That's, that's a lot of time. Did I even heal or did I just walk in the Pokemon Center? All right, I was, I was worried for a second. All right, we're gonna take Goofy's Goofy mail. We're gonna send it to the PC to remember for all of our days. And we're gonna go ahead and give Goofy, no. We're gonna give Goofy the Quick Claw because he could use it more than Woodstock. And Dan and Dorothy, they don't have anything to use like attack wise. So I mean, Bide is better than nothing, but it's really not. No encounters, please? Yeah, we get to fight this girl. Wait, did I not? I didn't roll the dice for the Magikarp guy, but it's... That's fine. I forgot. It wasn't necessary. Don't hate me for it. We'll, we'll roll it for her, though, because it actually matters. Not not really. It should be all right. But Samantha's Badoo is getting fought with a one. We're getting kind of lucky. That means we get to pick because that's Woodstock's spot. And obviously, I just picked Goofy. Why not? It doesn't really matter in this situation because I don't think I'm going to need a partner. It only matters for the, you know, fights later on, like when there's actual... Fights. Like right now, I can take everything down with one Pokemon for the most part, obviously. Uh, one thing that I do want to point out is you guys might be wondering on the layout above the bottom screen why I show my team a second time in the Mystery Dungeon Icons. On um, that, if you guys had a keen eye, eh, like Woodstock, wait, keen eye, does he? Does she? I'm pretty certain. They don't get keen eye, they get, yeah, they might. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Do you have keen eye? Because if so, that was a good joke, but I ruined it by my questioning. You do. Well, darn. Anyways, we got wing attack. But if you guys had a keen eye, like Woodstock, in the last episode, you would have seen that when we fought uh, against Faith, um, the pair was highlighted in yellow. So that spot above the bottom screen is for big fights. Anything that I have like an animated background for. That spot is for those fights, and that'll highlight the Pokemon that are at the active pair. So the lead is always active, obviously, so that goes into the battle highlighted, and then when I throw the dice and I get a pair, the new one will be highlighted. So that's the idea for that. Um, I don't know why I can't, can't think straight right now, but the reason that it isn't highlighted for every fight, that would just become far too tedious, and it doesn't really matter. It only matters for the important fights, because you guys can remember for the most part who's active. 
And just to be completely certain, the one through six on the layout in the bottom right, like the way the team is ordered there is not how I go off of it. So how I just rolled one, that isn't rolling Goofy, that's rolling Woodstock. It goes by the party in game. The layout is just a form of seeing my team and looking cool and all of that. So now that we have wing attack, let's go ahead and take these two down. They have an Abra, it's no big deal. We'll roll the dice, just in case I have to switch. Hopefully they don't have hidden power, they might. Oh, I have Bidoof, right, all right, so we got a four. So we're gonna go ahead and fight this guy with Woodstock and I believe Dorothy, which, so we're doing this with Woodstock by him, by herself. I'm, I apologize, excuse me, X attack? What is this? Nonsense. You're not gonna have any attack. You're gonna X your attack. Nah, I guess not. Wait, oh my God. Does X attack mean attack multiplier? Is that what X items mean? Oh my God, I never realized that. That would make so much sense. <laughs> I was always like, why are they called X attack or X defense? It's because they're raising your stat and they're multiplying your stat. Oh my God, tell me I'm not the only person that did not know that. That's, that's actually pretty smart. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put Goofy up front. I'm not gonna heal for this one. She has a Bidoof as well, I believe. I, did I say Bidoof? I hope I did. But either way, who's Goofy fighting with? Let me guess, it's Dan. Dan's gonna fight. Ooh, I dropped the dice almost. It's a two, so I get Woodstock. <laughs> All right, that's fine, Bidoof. Goofy and Woodstock are gonna take down this girl's Bidoof. No problem at all, bubble time. Let's see how strong that special attack is because I've been told it's very, very good. That wasn't very good. Hey, that's fine. You know what? You're doing, you're trying your best, Goofy. Goofy dog. You know, I'm gonna stick with Goofy Duck. We're goofing around, you know, calling you Woody sometimes because I slipped up. I hope this isn't the new Basil and Farley thing. A little the Faisal and Barley, if you will. Only people that have watched Emerald will understand. What? Christine, why are you healing your Bidoof? Bidoof? I can't speak today for some reason. I just woke up. This is a nice segue into the topic that I would like to have talked about this episode. So schedule productivity. You work better on a schedule. Now, I've always been a, a fairly lazy person. Fairly, it's five o'clock in the afternoon. I just woke up. I'm not the most go get them types of guy, if you will. That might explain why I haven't been uploading very consistently sometimes when I take big breaks. It's because, oh yeah, that's what I did while I was gone. I played RuneScape. That's always the go-to stop uploading when you play in RuneScape. Anyways, we can talk to this guy and get an item, but sc schedule productivity. I work better on a schedule. When I was in Canada, I woke up, got a shower, I woke up at a good time and then I would sit down and I would record and I would just bust out episodes. But when I got home, I started to slack again and I'd play games and blah, blah, blah. When you on a schedule, I tend to get so much more work done. So today I woke up and I told myself, I'm gonna record Platinum episode three, which is what I'm doing right now. So hopefully that'll lead to some good productivity in the future for the channel. And I actually did something yesterday last night that had nothing to do with Platinum, but it's for the channel and I'm very happy with the progress that I'm making over there. So I'm not gonna say anything about it because I don't want to gain anybody's hopes up, but I'm working on it. So with that being said, we can now leave Jubilife City and head over to Route 203, finally. Who's up front? It doesn't matter, it's Goofy. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We can get ourselves an encounter over here for Route 203. The only thing I can get here is a Bidoof. So I'll see you guys when I get a Bidoof. There's nothing else that's eligible for this playthrough. After several Shinks, Abra, and one Starly, we have found ourselves a Bidoof. So, Goofy, who you fighting with to catch this Bidoof? It's a six, we get to pick. You can see a trend here at the early game. It's more so like a Nuzlocke as you get your footing. I think it balances it out fairly well. I don't wanna knock it out, but I also don't wanna waste Pokeballs on a full health Pokemon. So I pick Woodstock if that wasn't entirely clear. Actually, yeah, I pick Woodstock. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and try, who's stronger? Tackle? Yeah, we're not gonna go ahead and do that. Yeah, all right, so the best bet would be, actually Pound would do less if they have the same attack since it's Stab, Tackle on Woodstock. Yeah, I'm gonna Pound it. 
Oh, please don't crit it. I don't want to regret this, but we need to save Pokeballs. All right, we're good. I don't want to get do it again, because if we crit it, I'm going to be very mad. But we need to save as many Pokeballs as we possibly can. So hopefully we just catch it right here. Oh my god. I'm irritated. Catching Pokemon at the beginning of this playthrough is going to be the bane of my existence. I'm going to pound it. I am. I have to. My god. I'm so frustrated. It's unbelievable. Oh my god. This is the worst part of this playthrough for me. It's actually killing. It's killing it greatly. I never dreamed that catching Pokemon would be this difficult. I'm blown away. Wow. All right. That sucks. I'm just speechless right now, honestly. I'm mad. Personally, I'm just pretty mad. I need to take a breather. Just get over it. Let's continue. <sighs> I had to pound it. I was not wasting four or five Pokeballs on a Bidoof. That was not going to happen. And based on the damage that the first one did, I safely could have done that. I don't know why that happened to stupid damage range. Whatever, Michael. You're quick and Krikatoff's getting roasted by Goofy and Woodstock. I rolled a two. All right. Well, then, <laughs> the luck so far with the dice has been incredible. But the luck on the catching is not, and I'm getting pretty mad. I know it was just a Bidoof, but I actually was going to use that Bidoof, like on my actual team. I had it planned out and everything. It was gonna be funny. But no, no Bidoof for me. I didn't actually get a Bidoof in the original Platinum until like after the fourth gym. That could happen again. <laughs> that would be hilarious, actually. I can't use a Bidoof to save my life, apparently. Not true, I did use a Bidoof on the channel. Not gonna tell you where. But I did, and I loved it. So, yeah, you never know. Bidoof might happen. I mean, later in the game, I probably wouldn't use it, though, because there's other things that I could be using. I mean, I might be in big trouble, because two of the three Pokemon that I have left to catch before the first gym have a 45 catch rate. That's why I need to save as many Pokeballs as I possibly can, because I'm in trouble. Like, I have to catch these Pokemon, or I could be stuck for Rourke. Like, what if I lead with Goofy and I get dead? <laughs> I'm in trouble. Well, there's the Pokeball I wasted. Oh, unfortunate. All right, this guy's a Krikatot as well, I think. So we're just going to go ahead and into this one. All right, who you fighting with, Woodstock? Let me guess. It's going to be Goofy. A three. It's not. It's Dan. Dan Dan the Drywall Man gets to do nothing. That's fine. Ooh, Shinx and Woodstock. That's not... I mean, it's not got an electric move, so I should be fine. But I can't wing attack because it's not very effective. Hey, it's fine. Anyways, lately, uh, yesterday I was telling you guys stuff I had been playing or doing recently. Well, one thing I actually picked up recently is my Wii U, which is, I know, odd. Why would you play your Wii U? That sounds su like such a big waste. You got Smash on the Switch and all that, which I've also been loving. I've been maining Pichu and Zelda, and it's been a blast. Anyways, I picked up my Wii U because I have Yoshi uh, Yoshi's Woolly World, which I know Chugga Conroy's been recently Let's Playing. And I haven't actually ever played it. I played, like, the first world of it when I got it, and I didn't really like it. Part of that had to do with, you know, the Wii U in, in itself. So I picked it up, and I've been playing it, like, kind of casually here, just, like, a level every night before bed, because it's not really something I enjoy just sitting down and busting out. It's not the best game in the world. It's all right. I love Yoshi's Island, but it's just too repetitive for a completionist. Like, it's annoying because I have to keep doing the same level over and over again when you miss something, and it's kind of annoying, but... Anyways, I'm gonna do this guy with Woodstock as well. I should be fine. Who are you fighting with Woodstock? Let's see. Let me guess. Goofy. Yes, it is. It's a six. All right. So <laughs> this is gonna be very entertaining. I promise. Once we have a full party that is all actually trained up, it'll be, it'll be a really interesting adventure. But for now, it's not. <laughs> At the beginning, it takes a little bit. But hey, that's the kinks that you have to work out, right? But I think it's balanced. Like I said, hopefully everybody else agrees. But. I picked up my Wii U, and one story is, this is my second Wii U. My first Wii U broke a long time ago, when I like they first came out, like a couple of years after having it. Um, I needed some money, so I pawned it, and I fully intend on getting it back, and I did. And after I got it back, I hadn't, I didn't touch it for a while. You know, it was my, it was a Wii U. Why would I play it, <laughs> right? So I, I let it sit for a while, longer than their return policy, and. When I went to play it, the disk drive was broken. All right, so this probably happened because of dust in the warehouse and not playing it for a while, all that sort of stuff. 
Big mistake on my part. I should have tested it after I got it. Oh, yeah. Who we fighting Caitlyn with? Let me guess. Dan. No, it's six again. Wow. All right. We'll go ahead and do Woodstock and Gooby. <laughs> All right. Um. Anyways, it broke. And I wanted to try and fix it myself. Because like, I, I don't have money to pay somebody to fix it. So I bought a disk drive on eBay. Long story short, I mangled the Wii U. It was broken. Never, ever to be fixed again. Great. So I ended up getting another one on sale a long time later after the after the Switch came out, you know, just because I've got a whole bunch of Wii U games I never got to play. So there was a whole bunch of eShop games that I had bought on my original Wii U, but I had an old Nintendo ID associated with it that I did not remember. So I, all those games were lost to time. I basically gave up hope. I had like Earthbound, Paper Mario, um, Super Mario RPG, 1001 Spikes, stuff like that. And Shovel Knight, which I never ended up actually getting to play. So, basically, I gave up hope all these years later. And basically, I'm sitting here playing Yoshi's Woolly World, and I was like, you know what? Let's try and get into that old ID. I tried to remember what it was. I tried to remember anything I could about it. I couldn't remember anything. I only have two emails in recent memory that I actually remember. So, I was kind of in a bad spot. I tried to recover with both emails, and both emails were giving me IDs that I knew of. Well, then I found out you can have two IDs with one email, apparently. Or several. And I was trying to find out, what is that ID? I know there was another ID that had all these games on it. So, I went and I dug up all my DS systems. I figured one of my old 3DSs that I don't play anymore probably is signed into that account, and it would at least give me the username. And then I could go from there. Bingo. It did. I opened it up. I update it. It took a long time because it's been a while. And lo and behold, boom. There's the ID. We're getting somewhere. This is all happening last night. It's been a nice time. This girl is a side up. I don't need to heal. We're just going to go in with this one. We're good. I have potions. Yeah, she got a Nifty Keen gym badge with this side up that's like level 8. Didn't really happen. But... We'll let her believe that. Madeline. Hey, it's Celeste. What's up? Oh, I rolled that dice and it, like, rolled in the bowl on its, like... I couldn't do that again if I tried. It rolled on the corner like a diamond. We're gonna re-roll that. Uh, we got a five. All right, that's... We don't have a five, right? Because we didn't catch the bee doof So, a goofy. Now that it matters. So, anyways. Long story short. I got into the ID. It was on the same email of one of my other ones. And I managed to reset it, and I was like, please have all these games on it. Because, like, it's been so long, I'd have to re-download them. I was hoping it was in the history. It was! I had every one of those games. A Link to pa the Past for The Legend of Zelda. A whole bunch of things that I had bought with, like, Christmas money on in, like, 2014. <laughs> and so I re-downloaded them all, and I'm really looking forward to it. I never actually ended up being able to finish Super Mario RPG. And that's something that I really want to play through, because the game's incredible. I remember playing, it's just something, I love the artwork, I love everything about Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars, and I never got to finish it. I played through, like, the first half of the game, maybe, and then I never ended up finishing it for some reason. I don't remember why, it's been a really long time. I'm gonna run back to the Pokemon Center really quick, and then I'm gonna go ahead and meet you guys here in the Orberg Gate. All right, guys, here we are in the Orberg Gate. Everybody's healed up, and we're ready to go ahead and catch our encounter. The only thing I can get in here is a Psyduck. The only thing eligible to me in here is a Psyduck anyways, which will be pretty interesting. I mean, Psyduck and Goofy would be the perfect pair for Rourke, so hopefully we catch it. I'm not going to even potentially risk on knocking it out. I'm going to be very careful. Anyways, this guy gives me gives me TM06, HM06, excuse me, Rock Smash, which we can't use yet, but we will actually... No, we can't use that yet. We have to be Orberg's gym badge, which is what he just told me. Anyways, so basically that Wii U story kind of ties into um, the productivity in a way. I have all of these games now that I haven't played before or I never finished, and I want to play them. But I don't know which one to play. But then I thought, you know what? We need to record first. Oh, yeah. I was going to do this with Goofy. I wasn't paying any attention. Well, hopefully we roll Goofy, right? Yes, we did. We rolled a two. Perfect. Well, then, hello. I'm gonna go ahead and do this with Goofy, obviously, because I have a better chance of weakening it. Oh, I can just use Bubble over and over again. That would work. Yeah, we can get it down into a really low range. Actually, Scratch does it fairly. I'm gonna do Pound first. If I knock this thing out with a Crit Pound, I'll be so mad. 
All right, we're good. I could definitely pound it again, but if I crit it, uh, I'm gonna do it again. I don't wanna waste a whole bunch of time and it's hitting me pretty hard with Scratch. What? You're kidding me! I'm never this careless with encounters. I'm not. I seriously swear to God, I did not expect that to crit. I want the Psyduck. Uh, I wanted the Bidoof too. Like I would never purposely knock out an encounter. That is not me. I gave a perfectly educated guess on the Bidoof. It did not do more than half. It did way less than half the first pound. I didn't really think that a damage range would do that to me. That sucks. That puts me in a bad spot. But there is a bit of salvageness here, well, a way to salvage it. I can get a Psyduck in the Ravage Pass. I get another chance, but it blows an encounter completely because I was going to save the Ravage Pass for a future um, Barboach with the Good Rod, but there will be other places to get a Barboach, I think. It's unfortunate, but we need Psyduck now, and I really really need to not blow this one. I just didn't, The my thought process was I didn't want to whittle it down with bubble from that state because I knew pound if it didn't crit would put it in the perfect range to start throwing balls. And it was going to keep dealing damage with scratch and bubble would deal so much, so little that it would be an endurance battle. And I didn't want it to get so close with only two potions left. And I'm really trying to min max as much of my items as I can right now because we broke. So, <laughs> Oh, that sucks. Well, at least I do get another chance at Psyduck. I can't blow this one because then Dan and Dorothy would be stuck on the party for Rourke. And that's just screaming wipe. So we don't want that. We're going to go in the Ravage Pass and we're going to go ahead and hopefully get a Psyduck here. Wait, we get a Pokeball here. No, a potion. So now we have three potions. Hey, that's good. We need three for Rourke at least. So I hopefully don't have to use any of them. Hopefully this will be a Psyduck right away. Yes, it was. All right. And this one's level five as well. Oh my gosh. Oh, Woodstock's still up front. I forgot to put Goofy up front. Oh, come on. Don't do this. A six. Thank God. All right. We're picking Goofy, obviously. I was so afraid that it would like be Dan and I would have to do this catch with Woodstock. And if, if Goofy can't weaken it, Woodstock can't. She's level 12 and she's super powerful. Oh my Lord. This is killing me here. I've got to catch the side up. You guys understand, in a normal playthrough or a normal wedlock, I would just throw Pokeballs. But since there's two Pokemon coming up with a 45 catch rate, I need as many Pokeballs as I can get. So I'm going to pound it. I'm not going to throw Pokeball at full health. I know this is literally screaming deja vu. I'm not going to pound it again. I was going to. I know I would probably not crit. It's what, a 1 in 16 chance? Come on, game. Okay, that didn't do very much. So I don't think a crit bubble would kill it, actually. A crit bubble would put it in a perfect range. Don't crit it, though, because I don't want to be eating those words. Thank you. Okay, you know what's really funny? You can't write this. I'm just going to go ahead, and there's a comment that said, everybody loves a good underdog story. And that really motivated me because I was sad missing all these encounters. You know, we're in a bad spot right now. We are definitely the underdogs, and which is funny because Goofy's apparently a dog. But Goofy was the second Piplup. This is the second Psyduck. Duck, do I do Goofy and Donald? Why'd you break out? I'm very mad. I'm very angry. I need those Pokeballs. You are in an okay range. There's nothing stating that you should not get in this ball. Thank you. Oh my Lord. So I don't want to name it Donald. I don't like I have I'm not a political person. I don't really care either way. But with this I mean I do. But the state of the world, I just feel very weird naming a Pokemon Donald. I don't like that. It not I have anything against like the name. I'm sure there are a lot of people named that and it's a reference to Donald Duck, but I know I'm going to get a whole bunch of stupid comments about it and I just want to kind of help go ahead and nip that in the bud right now. But it's the second Psyduck. Piplup is, Goofy's the second Piplup. It's beautiful. It, you can't write this stuff, I tell you. Anyways, Psyduck is the duck Pokemon. Overwhelmed by 
enigmatic abilities, it suffers a constant headache. It sometimes uses mysterious powers. Is there another duck in Disney? There's gotta be. I'm gonna go ahead and find a name for this Psyduck, and I'll be back in a sec. Alright guys, I have a name for this Psyduck, and I'm gonna go ahead and tempt fate just a little more. So, I'm not gonna name him Donald, but... The three ducks that are most known, apparently, other than Donald Duck, are his three cousins. And what better way to decide his name right now than a roll of the dice? And one and two is the first one, three and four is the second, five and six is the third. And the roll of the dice states that this Psyduck's name is going to be Huey from Huey, Dewey, and Louie. All right, and that's even better fitting because there is a famous sailor in Pokemon named Sailor, sailor Huey, which is hilarious because I think that person has a Psyduck. <laughs> That's possible. It's a mild Psyduck that loves to eat. So, and with damp. Ooh, that could be very interesting later on. There might be a situation where we need something that would be good against self-destruct, so. Wow, we've got another Pokemon. Finally, it only took two ducks. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe <laughs> that I killed the first Psyduck. I killed two more encounters this episode. Why? <laughs> and next episode, the, there's two encounters that are a 45 catch rate. Well, if I get Machop, then it's one encounter that's a 45 catch rate, which Machop wouldn't be bad. I would like the Poke Radar Pokemon over there, but I understand that it's not entirely the best option here. I'm gonna go ahead and continue to do this with Goofy and Woodstock just because I don't wanna train until the start of the next episode. And we got two trainers to take on before we reach Orberg. So let's go ahead and fight this girl at least. And let's see who Goofy's partner will be. Uh, it keep, all right, I need to not have a bowl. It rolled on its side again. And I think that's gonna become problematic, but I'm gonna re-roll. It looked like a six, which would be in my favor, but for the sake of consistency, I'm gonna re-roll. And we get a one, so it doesn't actually matter. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do Woodstock. And Goofy, obviously. I, I mean, I could do Huey, but he's weak. I was going to do that just to switch trains. But yeah, I'll just do Woodstock and Goofy for now. Obviously, there's no problem with any of these trainers right now because Goofy and Woodstock are pretty high level. It would be if I, like, trained everybody to, like, up to, like, level 9 or something and I was using Huey, but... Yeah, I'll just wait till next episode. But I believe Huey should be able to get uh, Water Gun before Rourke, which, if that's the case, Goofy and Huey would be perfect to take down Rourke. And it would be even more hilarious because it would be like a Disney miracle in a way. Because like I'm not a dig, I'm not a big Disney fan. I don't really care too much. This is not a Disney naming theme. I can name anything whatever I want. But it's funny how a lot of these names have been related to Disney in some way so far, and that's just kind of part of the fate and our destiny. Apparently, that's just what we had in store. So. I, I like I like the way this is going so far. It'd be funny if later down the line we've got characters from like Mortal Kombat or something. I've never played the game, so I have no knowledge on it. But you know what I mean. It's just how different things can change. It'd be wild to see what we could end up having on this adventure. I definitely like Huey as a name. I think that's a pretty good one. I'm glad I thought of that. I was like, there's got to be more ducks. And hey, Huey is much more unique and interesting of a name than Donald. Anybody would name their Pokemon after a duck. Well, anybody would name their Psyduck Donald, but how many people think outside the box and go for one of the lesser known ducks like that? I think that's pretty cool. So, I think Huey, I was going to pick Dewey because it was the middle one, the second one, but I mean, there's that's just the way Wikipedia has it ordered. It's, I don't know if that's actually true. Oh, I forgot to heal. That's right. Uh-oh. I mean, we, we, we can heal in battle, so it's fine. It doesn't really matter. We can heal three times per group, prepare, whatever, in battle. Who you fighting with? A four. So, we got to do this with, <laughs> um... Whoever's in slot four, I think that is Dorothy, so that's fine. I just go ahead and heal. That's level nine Bidoof, though, so that's kind of scary. I do want to go ahead and use healing item number one for Goofy and Dorothy in this fight, just to be entirely certain. I hope this doesn't come back to bite me, because if it gets some crits with a tackle, that's pretty deadly at a level nine Bidoof. Defense girl, that's fine. Perfect, because now we can bubble and it doesn't actually matter. It just It's like we started at full health, but we wasted a potion in the process, which is very unfortunate, I might add. Oh, that's not doing very much damage. That's kind of frightening, actually. Um, at least it's not actually done anything yet. It's still wasted its turns, and I don't think whoever this is, Princess Diana, will, um, use potions. So yeah, we're fine. It can't take our health down in one turn, and we're killing it in two, so we're good. 
I only, yeah, it might take two more actually, but hey, it does not matter. How much does tackle do? I was worried for absolutely nothing whatsoever. Wow, that did like no damage. Thank you, Goofy. You're doing so good. Goofy's a tank. Tackle isn't what you need to be tanking though. You need to be tanking headbutt soon. <laughs> Things could get, I mean, is the dicey joke getting old? Cause like once per episode, it's fine, right? Things could get pretty morbid. Eh, didn't see that one coming. All right, anyways, we're done with the Orber Gate. I actually read that as Princess Diana, not Picnicker Diana. I have no idea why, but whatever. Let's continue. We are now in Orberg City, the town, the city of energy, actually. This is a city, excuse me, it is? I mean, yeah, it's Orberg City. Orberg Town would sound stupid, so whatever. The noob guy, he's gonna go ahead and call us a noob in Diamond and Pearl. Not in this game, because apparently it's not nice. Whatever, if you guys don't know about a Pokemon gym, you are a noob, so just stating facts. Anyways, now that we are in Orberg City, we are going to go ahead and end off the episode. But in the next episode, hopefully we'll be able to take on the first gym leader of the game, being gym leader Rourke. We need to go ahead north to here, catch, catch a Pokemon, hopefully catch a Pokemon, explore the city, and then head down to the Orberg Mine, hopefully catch a Pokemon as well, find the gym leader, and then take him on at his gym. So until then, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, a like is appreciated. It helps out a great deal. And if you want to see more Pokemon Nuzlocke variants, like the Fate Lock, a like, a sub, please, I'm still out of practice. I'll get it next time. See you later.